Hey guys, it's Fiona from Even Tired Reads and I'm back with my sort of tradition of recording a book haul after the big book Bonanza Roadshow. So I've done a video for this last year. Uh, basically HarperCollins put on a roadshow for booksellers and we get to go along, we watch a video of upcoming books and um, new releases and things that have done well for HarperCollins, stuff that they're excited about and want to talk to us about and stuff like that. Um, we get the chance to take a lot of books home to talk to some of the guys who work in the imprints and it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of food, a lot of drink. This year HarperCollins put on a roadshow in Liverpool so they kindly put on a coach to take us from Manchester to Liverpool. This meant I had to run down the high street in a pair of high heeled boots to make the coach in time. So that was fun and I won't be doing that again. <laughs> but I had a great time and it was just really nice evening, good fun and some of the guys that came with us from my store this year it was their first time going and they were just kind of like I can take any books and I'm like yes yes take them they encourage this so a big massive thank you to Harper Insider, Harper Collins um, for as always setting this up and it being great fun and as per tradition I should probably show you what it is that I got some very exciting things. So one of the HarperCollins tables was kids books. I picked up from there the new Eric Lindstrom, A Tragic Kind of Wonderful. Kimmy spoke about this on our podcast, our first episode podcast, which as always is linked down below. If you're interested to know a bit more about this book, you can find out there. It sounds really, really interesting and I just thought I'd pick it up because hopefully I'll read it at some point. The other thing I picked up is this edition of The Places You'll Go, which is called Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go. We actually brought this back for our boss because she's just gone on maternity leave, so the next time we see her I should be able to give her this as well. It's so adorable and it's such a nice boxed version. It's just, oh, it's so cute. This is gonna be a great seller, so I'm very excited to actually get this in the shop as well. As always, they had a table with some backlist titles on and just some bits and pieces, and I picked up this um, Siobhan Vivian, Not That Kind Of Girl. I've been interested in reading more of her sort of set in school type of YA, so I thought I'd pick that up and see if I like it. One of the other tables I went to was sort of a general fiction and all their fantasy bits. Some of the stuff they had I already owned, such as Eligible, which I haven't read yet. But I got off with that and I was like, I already have it. Um, so instead I picked up um, Eleanor of Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. Gail Honeyman was actually at the event. She spoke a little bit about the book. I'd heard of the book, but I'd not really considered. And after I heard Gail actually speaking about it, I thought, you know what? I'm trying to read a bit more fiction, trying to find characters who are more my age. This sounds like something that I can relate to. The main character, she's 29 years old. She goes to work and, you know, goes home on a Friday, doesn't really speak to anyone, see anyone until she goes back to work on the Monday. And it deals with sort of, you know, loneliness and how people really are. And I think this is gonna be quite an honest book and I'm really interested in reading it. So that was lovely to get to meet her. And mine is signed. So thank you very much to Gail for signing that. I'm very looking forward to reading it. And from the same table, I was handed this, um, Anna Smith Sparks, The Court of Broken Knives, the first Empires of Dust novel. So this looks like it's more of a appealing to Game of Thrones kind of market. So I'm not entirely sure if it's one I'm gonna enjoy as such. I'm really hoping I will. Um, it sounds very intriguing and I'm very interested by it, but it sounds like a bit too much of a political fantasy for me. But I'm going to try it anyway because I want to get back into reading more fantasy. So I will keep hold of this for a bit. If I don't read it, I'm sure my other half will. Something I was very excited about was this book that Kimmy spotted. The Art of Lettering by Stefan Kunz? Kunz? Don't know. Modern Calligraphy in Four Easy Steps. I am fascinated with typography and fonts and I want to learn how to do this kind of stuff. So it like shows you through different scripts and stuff. Some of you know that I, I want to do more work on book covers and getting back into illustration and things like that. 
So this is going to be a big help to getting my handwritten fonts hopefully much much better than they already are. I'm really really excited, this is something really different that I probably wouldn't have seen myself or could have missed entirely. But uh, as soon as we got there, Kimmy was like, I found a book for you and I was like, yes I need this book. And of course, the biggest pile of books I have to show you come from the HarperCollins 360 table. Harper 360 is probably one of my favourite imprints. <laughs> They publish a lot of international stuff, so a lot of YA and hardback and the American editions of things and it's really awesome and I'm just like, oh, the shiny, the pretty. So of course I ransacked the table alongside Kimmy, the pair of us stood there going, do you want a copy of this? Do you want a copy of this? I want a copy of this. <laughs> and yeah, basically sort of cleaned them out a little bit. At these events, they really don't mind, they'd rather us take the books away and get them into people's hands, even if it's not ourselves that are reading them, even if it's our friends are reading them, just getting them into the hands of people. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna show you what I brought home with me. So I'll start with a series of books I picked up. There's being Unplugged and The Body Market, a sequel to Unplugged. I've seen Unplugged about, The Body Market is just coming out and I haven't read either of them, I picked them both up at the event. And I'm very excited, a bit more sort of science fiction-y, futuristic type of stuff which I really crave sometimes and I haven't read a good one for a long time so I'm very excited to read these. I have no idea if it is a duology, a trilogy? I don't know, I didn't do that kind of research before I started, whoops. <laughs> I picked up another couple of hardbacks, the first one being The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. Last year I picked up the first book in this series and I'm very excited to get to them. I am terrible at not reading the first one until I have an, another one in the series because sometimes I just, I can't, I really can't. <laughs> so I actually quite like a lot of standalone stuff these days because I just can't wait in series, it drives me insane. Um, but at the same time I love them so much when they are a series, it's just, ah, oh, it's just how it is. And then we have the new book from Megan Spooner, this is Hunted, this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Look how beautiful and shiny this book is. It is gorgeous. Ooh, shiny. I've read the first book in the Starbound trilogy, which is Megan Spooner and Amy Kaufman, and I actually own all three and haven't finished the series yet, which is terrible because it's been out for years. But I absolutely loved that kind of stuff, so I'm hoping reading some more Megan Spooner might push me into finishing that series as well, hopefully. I then grabbed a couple of paperback fictions. The first is Made You Up, which when I first saw it in hardback um, quite a while ago now, I really really loved it. It's such a beautiful book. Um, I don't really know much about it, but it sounds fascinating. So the main character is struggling to separate her delusions from reality. I'm like, what, what does that mean? Oh my gosh. Really, really curious about this and hopefully it's very good. Uh, might want to read very soon while I'm in a contemporary sort of mood. I then picked up a copy of Liberty, The Spy Who Kind of Liked Me by Andrea Porters. I think I have an Andrea, yeah. I have The Fall of Butterflies already that I still haven't read. This just sounded really fun and I love anything to do with spies. They're always great. It just sounds like a ridiculous scenario that would never ever happen but done in such a way that you're just like, yes, this is great. So I'm really looking forward to get to this. And lastly, the new Joelle Charbonneau, 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 I don't know, um, Dividing Eden. This has been getting a lot of press and I love this cover. It's so striking and simple but it's different from just like so for example Red Queen's crown, like crowns are so done, but this is a really interesting picture, there's the chair, it's half black, there's a staff, it's fascinating and it's also you know pouring from a cup at the top here. So yeah this is about two twins and I believe it's all fantasy and shenanigans so very excited to get to this and see what an earth it's all about. And lastly I have two non-fictions from the Harper 360 table. First is Sex Object by Jessica Valenti. Um, this is a memoir. This is sort of um, feminism and talking about women generally in the world and you know I'm really into that kind of stuff and this is a tiny book so I'm hoping I'll be able to read it fairly quickly 
and it just sounds like a really interesting read. And the next one is Almost Adulting by Arden Rose, person of the internet. <laughs> I love the subtitle of this. All you need to know to get it together, sort of. This is always really fascinating stuff to read because I'm in my late 20s and I still go, oh my god, yeah, I need to sort out my life. And I feel like reading more about this kind of stuff, I know what I can tell younger people that might be interesting to them and sort of direct them towards books that are relevant to what's happening in their lives. So again, this is a pretty small one, so I should get through this pretty quick. And that's it this year. This year I brought home a tote and a half. Seriously, half Collins do with the biggest tote bags. I can't even fit it in the frame. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. So I filled one of these and half another one with the books that I got. And it means I have some more tote bags and I can never have enough tote bags in my life. So thanks Half Collins. Um, I always make use of big tote bags. <laughs> They're a lifesaver. With so much stuff coming up with work, I've got so many books to take in and to move around. I was gonna try and do this video with Kimmy. We said to Amara that we would try and do it together, but we realized either I'd have to truck all my equipment, my two giant lights, my camera, my tripod, to Kimmy's, or she would have to try and trek all her books, which was like three totes, three of those big totes worth of books to me. Um, it just wasn't really doable, unfortunately. <laughs> But maybe next time we will, I'll have a car by then and maybe we'll be able to figure something out. But as always, I really enjoyed the evening. It's so nice to get out and see other booksellers that I don't get to see as well and make new friends. You just get to, you end up bumping into the same people you bumped into last year and you're like, oh yeah, I remember having this conversation with you, but I don't remember your name. <laughs> and you just kind of have like crazy moments where you recognize people and you're like, I don't know why. And yeah, I get to see a couple of faces that I, I've known for years that I don't get to see very often. So it was all very exciting and I really enjoyed it. I had such a great time and we all were just so chill on the coach back from all the alcohol and the food. I ate so much cake. The cake was so good. I'd barely eaten that day and I was just like, cake, just give me the cake. The guy with the tray of cake walked past us and we all literally just followed him like this. <laughs> solid cake um, <laughs> it was great fun and as always I will be attending the next one whenever it may be and hopefully I'll read some of these books soon assuming that I can you know find the mental capacity to read I seem to be doing weird things with reading again like I didn't read for like a week and then I read a book in 24 hours I don't know what's happening my brain has gone crazy one question I want to ask do you guys want to see me vlog these kinds of events because they don't happen super often and I'd be kind of comfortable doing it now, I guess. So I just want to hear if anyone would be interested in me vlogging a little bit more. But it wouldn't be very often because I don't have a social life, so. Anyway, let me know in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!